guys, this is Rudy with Aquatic Facility Training and Consultants, and I'm in town to do a class tomorrow, but I wanted to take a moment just to vent. I don't know if you knew this or not, apparently it's a thing. People from neighborhoods sneak into apartment complexes, community associations, condominiums, hotels, just to use their swimming pools. They sneak in. These are folks from the neighborhoods, not guests that are staying at the facility, not residents who live there, but people from the neighborhood. They just wander in with their bag under their shoulders. I'm not even talking about at night. They just wander in during the daytime with their bag under their shoulders, their towel, their bottle of Copitone, dragging their kids along. They like it down and let their kids use the pool while they sit there and take selfies and update their Facebook status. I don't get it. The nerve. What the f is wrong with people? You don't live there. You don't belong. Don't use the pool. Think about what that takes away from your residence. That's one of the amenities. That's one of the things they were promised when they moved into that facility. They wanted to live in an apartment complex that had a nice pool. Nobody told them, nobody offered them the opportunity to swim with folks from the neighborhood. If they wanted to do that, they could go to one of the neighborhood pools. No, they wanted to stay at your facility so that they could use that pool with the other residents, the hotel with the other guests, not people from the neighborhood sneaking in, acting like they belong when they don't. They're intruding. They're costing you money. They're increasing the liability of that facility. Think about it. Your guests are having a bad experience because they know that there's folks there that don't belong. That's one. Number two, just common sense. The more people that use the pool, the more chemical it's gonna to take to maintain that pool, the more maintenance that pool's gonna need. You're gonna to have to clean the filter more often because everyone from the neighborhood thinks it's a pool party, but they don't belong. Now think about the liability. What happens if one of those kids, if one of those people get injured while they're on your property? These are not your residents. They're not your guests. They're just folks that wandered in. I have no idea. So what we did was we reached out to a group of 100 people. This group was comprised of hotel managers, community association managers, maintenance techs, and engineers from hotels and apartment complexes. And we asked them what were the best ways to keep non-residents from invading your facility? How do you keep non-residents from using your pool? So they gave us our answers. We listed them. We have a top 10 list. We put it together. It's on our site, pooltalknews.com pooltalknews.com. It's the very first article there. So go check it out. If you have any other thoughts, any other ideas that we can add, so a lot of them are serious. One or two of them is a little goofy, but I think they might have kind of been serious. I'm not sure. But go check it out again, pooltalknews.com. If you have ideas on how to keep people from using pools, at a community association, a hotel, or a condominium where they don't live? How do you keep people from the neighborhoods out of your pools? How do you prevent this from happening? What the F is wrong with people? PoolTalkNews.com. Check it out.